Alright, in this vid I'm going to show you how to flash your DS Lite. You're going to need your Easy Flash 4, micro SD card, some kind of pass me. I'm using an Easy Pass 2. You're going to have to program that with a .ged file, uh, .jed file to match your game. I'm not going to cover that because that's a long process. I found plenty of guides on that online. I'm just using a toothpick covered in tin foil. Really easy. And of course, you're going to need your DS. The first thing to do is connect your DS up to power and let it charge a little bit. Go ahead and put your micro SD card into your reader and stick it into your computer. Alright, pops up up there. Go ahead and open it up and go to whatever folder or if you should put it in the root. Get your FlashMe file. It'll be flashme.nds and drag it over. Now for it to run on the Easy Flash 4 you have to rename it to from flashme.nds to flashme.bin. I don't know why you have to do that, but you just do. So there that is. Okay, you can take that out of your computer now. And take the card out. Now put it into your Easy Flash 4. Just like that. Alright. Now if you get that done, you're also going to have to copy a .save file that matches your game and it matches your Easy Pass. So right now I flashed this with a .jd file for Mario Kart DS and this with a .save file. So now put your Easy Flash 4 into your DS. Also put your Easy Pass 2 into your DS and put your game into that. Alright, so there you go. Now flip it over and remove the battery cover. Okay. So there's that. Go ahead and turn your DS on. It will automatically boot to the me the Easy Flash menu, just like that. So navigate to your FlashMe file, just like that. All right. Once you've launched FlashMe.bin, it's going to tell you that your firmware might not be recognized. It might be recognized. You're going to have to press Start. And it's going to ask you to press XB XB to continue. So press that. Now it's going to tell you to short the SL1 jumper. It's going to stay at 0% progress. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm just going to put the camera down. Turn the DS on. Alright. Oh, oh my god, I just fell backwards. Okay. Take your little toothpick and stick it down in that hole right there. Stick it straight in. Don't tilt, don't tilt it. Now keep it going. Just keep it going. I don't even know if anything's happening. Everything should be fine. It should be flashing. I'm going to check in about 5 seconds. Now it's okay if you lose contact. It'll keep being fine. I'm going to pull that out. Turn it around. Oh, still at 0%. Alright. Here. Let's, see. Let's try this again. There we go. Got progress going. 30, 40. Now it stopped probably about five times and kept going. Alright, firmware flashing complete. There we go. I'd say it stopped five times and kept going in between that. So now it's 100%. You can now switch it off. Close your DS. Take out your pass me. Take out the power. Go ahead and put your battery cover back on. Now, turn it over. There we go. I was put straight into the main menu, so successful. 
Now, I've flashed, I think, seven DS lights and two original DSs. I've not had one problem with any of them. They've all worked fine. Um, three, uh, I mean, uh, one of the original DSs that I flashed was a firmware 5, so it actually had the four levels of brightness. If you want to get back to the original menu, boot up, hold down select, and it'll take you back to the original menu. Just like that. That's it. Um, I highly recommend you do flash me if you've got a flash card. There's just no sense in using one of these big things or even a no pass, one of the smaller versions. It's just no sense. Hope that was helpful.